What's up guys? Today I'm actually going to be teaching you something useful. I'm going to show you how to professionally retouch skin in Adobe Photoshop. Doesn't really matter which version it is, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Do note this does not include dodging and burning, which is what you apply to the skin or the cheekbones to, or the jawlines to get like a nice, uh, to like emphasize like the cheeks or the jawline. Um, that it will be a different video, but this is just going to be the basics on how to smooth it out. So if we hop over to Adobe Photoshop, you'll see that I open up this photo of Mia that I took back on Sunday. And what you want to do when retouching photos, obviously, if you're in the line of work where you are required to do professional retouching, you want to make sure that the photo is nice and sharp. Now, this was shot at f 1.4 and it is actually a lot crisper the raw image but the preset that i applied to it my preset does add a little bit of uh denoising which also just gives it a nice and warmer feel as you can see on the image so what you want to do before starting out is you want to hit alt f9 i don't know what the command is on on mac but i'm on windows so you can either hit alt f9 or go to window and then just click on actions that will open the action tab so before actually starting out, you can make a folder if you do want to, although I'm not going to do that as I, re I rarely use any of these. But let's say for the sake of this video, I'm going to add a folder. So I'm just going to call this skin and that's good. So now you might be looking at the video, seeing that it's longer than five minutes and thinking to yourself, how am I going to retouch a photo in less than five minutes? But the video is longer than five minutes well here comes the part that actually makes it shorter and easier to do so now what you want to do before we start is click this little plus icon and you can give it a name for the sake of this video i'm going to call it skin retouch and when you go to function key this is the part that's actually going to make the whole process happen a lot faster so the function key what it does it allows you to press one or two or three buttons and everything that you're going to do is just going to happen automatically and then you only have to do like minimal work so for mine usually i put it at you can put it any button that you want that it gives you i'm just going to do f3 and then you can just do shift or control if you know i'm just going to do control and shift f3 and now the moment you hit record this is the moment when we're actually going to start working and we're going to record this whole process up to a certain point so that when you come back into Photoshop in the near future to re retouch images, all you have to do is press one, two or three buttons. It's going to do that whole process for you. And all you have to do is the, is the selecting area and the smoothing. So let's hit record and get into this. Okay, so now we've started to record and you will see, you will notice up top at the actions bar as every time you do something, it's going to like create a new layer as it's recording what you're doing so now whether you're on windows or mac you want to press Control or command j twice to, so that makes it three layers you've got the background layer layer one and layer two now you don't have to rename these layers but i am going to do that for the sake of this video so we're just going to call this middle and we're going to call the top layer top just to make it easier for you guys to to remember so first what you want to do now you want to hide the top layer click on the middle layer and then just zoom in slightly so you can see her face her or his face depends on what you retouch then you want to go over to filter blur and select gaussian blur now what this does it's, it's going to blur the entire image and you're going to see why in a minute so you want to just drag this radius not too high but up into the point so right now you can see this the skin is very clear but you want to drag it to a point where you can almost not see like anything so it depends on your image but for mine i usually put it between three and six i'm just going to put it at let's say four and four point seven for this image it depends and it does vary from image to image depending on how close you are or how sharp or how much is in focus you can play around with that but i set mine usually between three or three to six so around four and a half four point seven and that just gives it an overall it's going to make it a lot easier to not have to go and readjust that every time so i'm going to set mine at 4.7 but you can just do it anywhere between three and six click ok now you're going to see this is nice and blurry so now what you're going to do is re-enable that top layer click on the top layer and then go to image 
and apply image. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the top layer is applying to the middle layer. That's why I renamed this. So when you click layer, you're going to select middle. You want to go down to the blend mode and click subtract. Okay. Now very important. If this is not correct, it's not going to work. The scale must be set to two and the offset must be set to 128. I'm not 100% sure why, but that is how I was taught a couple of years ago and any other way it doesn't work like as well. So make sure it's set to the middle layer. It's set, the blending mode is set to subtract. Scale is set to two and the offset is set to 128. Click OK. Now you're going to be like, well, Devot, I'm sitting with a, with a, with a gray image. How, how does that work? I mean, it's a gray image. What you want to do, go here to your blending mode and then just change that to linear light. Bam. Wait, we're not done. What you want to do now at this very point, make sure to click on the middle layer and then click stop. You have to stop this action. That's it. That's done. You're done with most of the work. You can just close this for now. Now that you selected the middle layer, make sure you click stop recording. Otherwise it's gonna just mess up all your images. So make sure you stopped after you changed it to linear light. Click on the middle layer, then stop it. Then click on the lasso tool, which is here. Then you wanna zoom into a face. Make sure you, you are on the middle layer. You wanna just select an area make sure the feather is set to around 20 to 30 pixels just select that area now what you want to go again after you've selected the area is click filter blur gaussian blur and then just change that very if you do it too much it's gonna it's gonna just cause cause a bunch of crap to the face so you just want to make sure it's also set to about three four but you can you can already see how it's smoothing out the face Click OK and then just do that for every single part that you want to do. So for example, don't do too big of an area as every area is different and does require a different amount. Filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. Just smooth that out. And then I'm going to do this area. Click filter, blur and Gaussian blur looks about good uh, I'm just gonna do this small area here on the lips you don't have to do this area I'm just gonna do it because I do think it's a bit prominent for this photo and then maybe just the cheek it all depends on what areas do need smoothing and what doesn't so it's gonna vary photo to photo and I think that is about it. As you can see, that is now nice and smooth. Do you know, if you haven't used a spot healing brush tool to go remove pimples and stuff, then it's just gonna flat out the spot. So make sure to remove spots and stuff before doing this. So as you can see now, the skin is nice and smooth and it still looks like skin. And that is the magic of this process. That is about it. So if you wanna save this image now, you can just select all layers can just merge layers and then that is it now you might be thinking okay well cool we've retouched this image but how is this actually going to make me retouching other images faster let me show you you can open a new image i'm just going to select maybe a portrait let's select a different portrait let's just select maybe this one it's from the same shoot now remember you saved an action with some control keys. Mine was control shift F3. Now look at this magic. All I have to do is press control shift F3. The layers are created. It's done. The middle is already selected. All I have to do now is go with the lasso tool, zoom in, and then just select my area. Make sure the feathering is set to 20 to 30%. Select that area, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and already you can see it's nice and smooth and that's exactly how quick it is i'm literally retouching this photo in less than a minute just because i made that action so that's how easy it is and then just the last cheek 
I'm doing this very roughly. If this was client work, I would like zoom in, do closer details and stuff. This is just to show you how easy it is and how quickly you can actually do it if you follow the process that I just showed you. So last cheat, go to blur, Gaussian blur. That is proper and that is a smoothed out face which looks natural and that's what we all want so anyways guys that's it for this video i'll check you in the next one make sure to, to hit the subscribe button share this with all your fellow content creators who might not know this hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video peace